Tim Brown. I'm a Master Sergeant in the United States Army Reserves. I got involved in Veterans Day about 15 years ago to try to do something a little better and uh, honor the veterans. What's new and exciting this year at Veterans Day in Manchester? Naomi Judge coming back to town. She was here last year. She's going to appear this year as our guest speaker. Uh, high school band's going to be here. The chorus is going to be here. I've got a gospel singer that's going to do the national anthem and possibly Little Richard and one movie star, but that's just kind of a secret right now. Veterans Day ceremony, we honor the veterans who served during combat or any time, peacetime. I present them with a sword and a certificate for their service to honor them. And we place wreaths at the memorial stones for the veterans who didn't make it back home. And what impassions you to do this every year? We kind of forget about the veterans, the older veterans, and they need to be recognized as much as the ones that's leaving today. How can people support and help you make this year's Veterans Day possible in Manchester? The ceremony costs a lot of money to, to buy the swords, the wreaths, and the bagpipes, and everything costs money, and if somebody wants to contribute, I've got an account set up at First National Bank. It's under Veterans Day, Memorial Day Fund. They can go by and drop money off there to be put in that account to pay for the ceremony. And how are people affected by this ceremony, helped in Manchester every year? By doing this Veterans Day and Memorial Day, we do it twice a year, a veterans ceremony. It really touches the life of these older veterans that feel like they've got left behind or forgotten. Every year, with your help, Veterans Day and Memorial Day ceremony will be held to honor our local veterans here on the square in Manchester. So I would like to personally invite you to come out and honor these men and women on Veterans Day. <laughs> 